Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to the image editing part of this video. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how I take myself and put me into the image uh, with my toy. And here's a few examples up above here, uh, scrolling through. What I want to do is I want to go open up my Lightroom and then select three images that I've bracketed uh, on location. I bracketed for one stop over, one stop under, and then a normal exposed image. And what I'll do is I'll select those and I'm going to export those into uh, Photomatix Pro, which is an HDR image editing software. And you'll see once it opens up here, uh, there'll be your progress bars and it'll open up and then there'll be some presets on the right side right here. And you can see your image displayed, uh, you know, in, in different uh, presets that they have. And you can select one of those presets and, and, and tweak them or fine tune them to your taste. Or you can just completely not even use those and go ahead over to the sliders on the left here and start doing your own thing. Uh, what I'm looking at is the shadows here in the wheel well. And I'm trying to minimize the amount of noise that I'm getting from the HDR uh, software. HDR gives you a lot of noise. And so I'm just trying to bring out some texture. And I'm looking at different parts of the image here in loop view. Uh, which is what this box is here that's magnified a certain part of the image and once i once i'm happy with the textures and the, and the noise and the shadows and i think there's good amount of contrast in this action figures armor and in the tires and rims and i've got you know good contrast and it looks a little hyper real um, then I'll, I'll go through and i'll click save and re-import uh, and it'll take me back to lightroom once those three images come back to Lightroom, they'll be merged as one. So now that I've got those three images merged into one HDR image back into Lightroom, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'll right click it and I will select edit in Photoshop and it will ask me do I want to do it with the, uh, with the edits. Um, you know, and I'll go ahead and click yes. And it's going to take that image over to Photoshop. And now we've got an HDR image in Photoshop that we can begin to work with. But I need to go back to Lightroom and select a pose from one of the, you know, five or six different poses that I did. And I want to select the best one uh, to take back over into Photoshop and, and put in that HDR image. So I'm just going through right here and kind of checking some of my poses see what I think is going to work best. In the original image, I used this one, this pose here with the soda can in my hand. So I think we're going to, I'm going to scroll back through and I haven't decided if I want to use that one yet again or not, or maybe just do something different, you know, but here's a cool pose, you know, then I got this one with the soda can in my left hand and this one's the, the one that I used originally. Uh, this one here, soda cans back in my left hand and my right hand's extended like I'm shaking his hand. So I think we can use that. I think, so I'll, I'll go ahead and right click and, ex, you know, uh, export that into Photoshop. But, and from, now that I've got this image back into Photoshop, I want to select my original image, the HDR image real quick and go to camera raw and fix some of the compositional elements of the image real quick. I, I want to go to scale and I want to scale up a little bit uh, by dragging the slider so that the truck appears a little larger in the frame. I want to rotate it, uh, do a couple little tweaks like that so that the frame is full of what I want and not like the green that was in the background. I'm going to, you know, slide it to the right or left a little bit and kind of fine tune where I want everything in this frame. I want to fill the frame with the truck, the action figure and myself so I'm just adjusting everything to do that uh, and sliding down right here also there you go so now that I've got the image finished in, in camera raw compositional elements that I want to you know adjust uh, I go over to the image uh, my that's my pose and I just want to go to select and mask and I want to make in this part a real basic selection of the main parts of my body doesn't have to be really clean right now I just want to make sure that everything's selected fingers can pants shoelaces the real main parts of my body uh, so that I can get out of selected mask and get back you know uh, send send this back over as a layer mask uh, 
that I can further refine just using the brush tool once I get myself over. Uh, I'll, I'll take this, I'll, I'll, I'll put it as a layer mask, and then I'll drag it over to the HDR image, and then I'll just refine the mask from there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Once again here, we're just making a real basic selection of the main parts of my body, including as, as much uh, detail you know, as I can quickly, and I'll fine tune it later in the next image. So now that I've outputted my selected mask as a new layer with a mask, I'm just going to go through and whatever detail I didn't get in my initial run through of quick mask or of select a mask, I'm going to go through and fine tune all that now just using the brush tool and toggling back and forth between white and black and just really focusing on getting my edges sharp and without uh, the old background and, and and that's what I'm doing here I'm going through and just looking at each part of the image adjusting my brush size uh, you know going back and forth between white and black you know here I'm adding more to the edge so that I can see what's supposed to be there and then I go back through and I just erase it and it's a really simple process I sped it up here so that I can save you 17 minutes of me you know scrolling through an image adjusting a layer mask but this is not the, the, you know, the funnest part, but it's a necessary part. And you can do this using the pin tool. You can do this using polygonal lasso. It just depends on the image. It depends on how comfortable you are with different tools. You know, what's going to work best for the, you know, the image that you're working on. Um, sometimes I'll use the pin tool. You know, this is a where your clothing really helps. Um, you know make this easier or more difficult you know if you see here I've got dark outline clothing against light background so that really helps if I wanted to use the pin tool quick selection whatever and you see here I'm just going through and the edges of my fingers and it's a really simple process and and um, this is probably the most work that you'll do on on this image but it's important so you scroll through just fine-tune your mask you know and once you got that done then you'll be able to take and drag this whole mask over into my uh, HDR image and um, you'll see that here in just a second I'll take the whole thing and so now that I've drugged the image and the layer mask over to my uh, HDR image where I want to place it I'm just basically going through right now and I'm trying to see get a rough idea of where I want to put it uh, I decide here that I'm going to go ahead and use the mask and further uh, erase the soda can. Um, I decided it's the soda can isn't something that's going to be visible. It's not going to work with what I want to do. So I take that out. I bring the image back over and I'm positioning myself right now in some various spots to see what I want to do. I can see my hand there. Uh, I want to go ahead and layer mask that out too so it looks like it's behind the cup. This hand I want to use and I'm going to do some dis uh, some transforming on there where I use the, oh, I think it, I can't, I think it's called distort transform and you can select in the mesh and move your hand uh, and tweak it and stuff like that so it's on the cup and that's what I'm doing here just basic some basic transform uh, re redefining some parts of my mask uh, transforming positioning myself now I'm gonna go through and uh, I'm gonna do a hue saturation adjustment layer I'm gonna focus on the reds I'm gonna bring those up a little bit and you can see there they're brought up now I'm just gonna go through and do some sharpening using apply image and it's going to bring out some contrast that I'm going to layer mask out and paint back in just on the action figure. It's going to give some texture to his to his outfit. And this is really easy. And this is it. I'm going to put my signature on here and I'm going to upload it to my website. And here it is. Hey, folks, thanks for watching this video on how I edited this image. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. I have lots of cool toy photography and different things coming up.